Meditation is an ancient technique that trains the brain for the power of concentration. It's like a gym workout for your brain. Archaeologists have found meditation to be five and a half thousand years old, while only sixty years ago, modern scientists began to study the brains of meditators. They discovered that meditation changes the structure of the brain, making it a lot more powerful. Long-term meditators are often able to develop superhuman abilities, like the ability to stay calm in pressure situations such as exams and sport, more original and creative ideas, and excellent memory. An experiment showed that meditating monks were able to dry icy wet sheets in a cold temperature by controlling and raising their own body temperature with the power of the mind. To understand how meditation affects us, you must first look at the most recent discoveries about the brain. In the last ten years, scientists have discovered that every time we think, feel, or learn something new, a neural connection appears in our brain. Those things that we repeat the most, like a habit, make these connections grow stronger and stronger. And over time, the connections that we don't use grow weaker and eventually disappear. This is why our habits are automatic, and we don't have to think before doing them. For example, because you practice brushing your teeth every day, it seems a lot more effortless than washing your dishes after you have eaten, even though both tasks take about the same amount of time to complete. But if you stop brushing your teeth for a few days, it will also begin to seem like a more difficult task. Some neuroscientists have suggested that we don't choose most of our behavior; instead, it is programmed by these neural connections in our brain. Think about the tip of an iceberg, which is the smallest part. This represents all the things that we can choose consciously, such as solving a maths problem. The larger part of the iceberg. It's all of our unconscious thoughts and feelings, which cause most of our behavior, like reacting to arguments in the same way again and again, even if afterwards we know it was wrong. This happens because we are not aware that we are controlled by unconscious emotions. In this unconscious part of our mind, neural connections are strong, so most people don't think they can change how they act and react in situations. This automatic way of acting is what we call personality. But mostly, it's just those thoughts, emotions, and habits that we have repeated the most growing up and continue to repeat on a daily basis. But this can all be changed. Our intelligence, skills, and personality can all be developed through practice. We can literally train our brains to become cleverer, to learn a new talent, or to think differently in situations. So, to change ourselves, we need to change our brains. By creating new connections and practicing them until they become strong and automatic, this means that stuff that we find hard now will become easier and easier the more we practice it. Think back to when you struggled to read; it would take you a while to get through a sentence, and now it's automatic. You don't need to stop and think about how to read words you already know; you just do it. Amazingly, meditation practice helps us change all of those things by creating new connections in many different parts of the brain, literally making your brain larger in size. So, how do you practice meditation? Well, it's really simple. All you have to do is concentrate on your breathing and allow thoughts and feelings to come and go. With continuous practice, your skills of attention, concentration, and awareness. Significantly increase, but it's actually quite hard to concentrate on your breath and nothing else. This is because, on average, we have about fifty thousand thoughts each day. Ninety-eight percent of those thoughts are the same thoughts as we had yesterday, and eighty percent of those thoughts are negative. Stress, worry, and irritability is a direct result of those thoughts, which are either regrets about the past, which we can no longer change. Or worry about the future, which hasn't even yet happened, but we experience stress and worry in the present moment, causing us to behave in very unhelpful ways. The more we worry, the better we become at worrying, which is a negative habit. 
Overthinking leads to continuous stress and continuous stress leads to mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. Meditation has been shown to decrease the size of the amygdala, which is the fear centre of our brain, and this is where all our negative emotions and thoughts come from. It also decreases the level of stress hormone, cortisol, which overall means that you can deal with stressful situations a lot better. During meditation, you also learn the skill of how to watch your thoughts and emotions without reacting to them. This means that with continuous meditation practice, you can significantly change your behaviour and even your personality. This can help you to achieve your personal goals because you're less likely to procrastinate or worry about other people's opinions about you. Scientists are still discovering all the other benefits of meditation, such as its ability to make you more creative, better at learning and remembering things, increasing self-confidence and making you kinder towards other people around you. Leaders of big companies, athletes and even pop stars use meditation as a way of training their minds. And the NHS now use meditation to treat a variety of mental health issues. It's even been shown that meditation is more effective than using drugs. Not bad, hey? For saying all you need to do is sit still for 20 minutes, close your eyes and concentrate.